It's a gesture to celebrate peace, but for the crews involved, the memories are inevitable of a time when Gallipoli was a contest about life, death and nationhood. Almost a century on, the Turks are taking us on in a marathon surfboat race along that historic coast. We trained them and they've been practising for months to gate crash an Aussie tradition. Their students determined to beat Aussies at their own game. Training twice a week for two years, they're Turkey's first surfboat crews. It's Australian's national sport, I guess, and it is. So we're doing it now. They'd never even seen a surfboat until they were recruited and coached by visiting Australian lifesavers. Uh, when I uh, saw this uh, boat uh, first, I said, oh my God, this uh, boat is very big. But next week, they race 30 surfboats from Australia, like this Victorian crew from Anglesey and New Zealand, in a Gallipoli centenary marathon, from Echiabat right around to Anzac Cove. And it will be an emotional journey. Virtually every one of these rowers has an ancestor who fought at Gallipoli. McGay says she will fight back tears thinking of her grandfather who survived the brutal trench warfare. Not just my grandfather, the, all of it. In Australia, New Zealand, our people, Turkish, all of them. This marathon so poignant because the original Anzacs landed in boats just like these. We uh, were fighting 100 years ago and right now uh, we will row uh, for peace. This is so nice. In Tekiadar, Turkey, Nick McCallum, 7 News. A very special race.